Thanks for well, you know, very proud of our guys' effort. We followed the script and what we felt like we needed to do to win the game. And that was ball possession, field position, beat the clock, play good defense, um, which we did for the most part through the night uh, against a very good offensive football team. Um, so uh, extremely proud of our players and the way they've continued to fight in the game. A lot of negativity out there, and these guys pulled together and showed you a little something what those guys are about. We just need to, we need to make some plays in those situations to win the game. And it's the bottom line's winning. And we didn't do it. We did not get the job done. So that's on me. And we'll uh, go back and continue to work hard and get these last two. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, you know, the 58-yard run at there at the end, we just got bounced out of our gap. We brought corner pressure on the four-down look and we changed gaps on it. And we just spit on it. You know, we had safe safety covering down on, on the X. And uh, we had no overlap. Unfortunately, when you do that, when you pressure a little bit, that's what happens. Uh, the 34-yard pass on third and nine was a beautifully thrown ball. Neron had great coverage. They, their guy made a play, and we got to we got to get the ball off them in those situations. And uh, but I'm extremely proud of our staff and our players are pulling together, of uh, uh, trying to to uh, you know, put ourselves in a position to win the game. And we did on the road and against a very good football team. And, just, uh, we just got to come up with a couple of those plays here and there. Miss two field goals. You know, we're a team that needs to capitalize on those opportunities. So we'll, we'll continue to look at that. But I felt like we got some good movement in the run game tonight. And uh, we got some good pressure on the quarterback. His legs didn't hurt us like they have before. He's an outstanding player and scrambler. Uh, so pleased with that. But uh, you know, again, we just we have our opportunities. We got to make the plays. And that's on me. We'll get it done. We'll keep working. I'll open up for any questions. Well, even though you're frustrated with the loss, you're allowed to have a fight. Some of your guys missing linemen, Tyler. And I mean, I, you know, guys, it's, I mean, it's not excuses. It's real. It really is. You know, you can say what you want to say, and you can write whatever the hell you want to write. It's real. It's frustrating. It's frustrating for that locker room. I, yeah, to hell with me. I worry about the kids. You know, these kids have fought their butts off. There's a lot of negativity out there, and some of our fans need to get a grip. They really do. They got a bunch of kids in that locker room fighting their butt off. They can criticize me all you want. I'm great with that. They, they pay me enough money to deal with it. But those kids don't. They really don't. And they fought their butts off. And they've continued to fight and play hard. Nobody's ever questioned their efforts. And I, I'm just I'm just extremely proud of them and, just, and the resolve and the fight and pulling, the, pulling together like North, like Florida Gators do. Extremely proud of them. We just didn't get it done. That's all me. That's my fault. No, nobody else's. Will, how tough of a spot was it for Skyler to get put in, never taking the collegiate wow. snap before? Very proud of him, you know. Um, you know, we, I just told him to cut it loose and have fun. And uh, we're, we weren't going to put a, a lot on him, uh, you know, as far as, you know, asking him to do a bunch of different things. We gave them some different looks. I'm Brett and the staff did a good job of putting ourselves in position to, to move the ball, and we did. We had him off balance, especially the first two drives going down and getting points. And, uh, but we were able to, to, to eat the clock and move the ball and follow, follow the script, so to speak, of what we needed to do to be successful. So I'm just, you know, but I thought he did a, a, a really good job of managing. We didn't have, I think we had maybe two procedures where it was close on the, on the 40 second clock and a couple of, of, of you know, different things as far as that. Any update on where Tyler's at going forward? Is Skyler? He's not out for the season. I mean, Tyler's uh, a guy that didn't take any reps, many reps at all this week, any reps. And, uh, you know, obviously as a defensive coordinator, it changes you a little bit from a mobile quarterback to the knot. That's why I handled it the way I handled it. Um, but he's not out for the season. I don't know about this week. He's, he's got a short, sore shoulder AC sprain, very similar to what he had before. And it's all about time and healing, and I don't, I don't know yet. You're talking about the effort that you got. I mean, the off the line in particular. Yeah. Even the guys that are healthy have had struggles at different times, and you're missing guys. We've had one starter play the same position for nine games. It's difficult. <laughs> It's hard. But you must have liked it's not an excuse. Saw. It's real. Right. What's that? You must have liked it yourself. In yeah, I mean, I thought we did some good things. I thought we, we blocked them well. A very good front. Probably, you know, South Carolina and Missouri are the two best fronts we've played this year. Um, you know, you know, and, and, and uh, Jadavion gets a lot of credit. The 90 is a really good player. And Quarles is a very good player, 99. Um, but, no, I'm very pleased. You know, we, 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 we could not get in loose downs with them. Uh, you know, passing situations. We had to manage the down and distance because they're an extremely athletic, talented front. And I thought we did a very good job of, for the most part, putting ourselves in situations to be successful. A couple of nice screens on third down uh, that we hit. But I'm very, very pleased with that. Being able to rush the ball, you know, 200 yards rushing against that front is pretty good. Well, what happened here, man? I hit a chalkboard. Dumb. Last question. What did it mean to you to have the administration come out and thank you 
publicly. I'm very appreciative, Jeremy and Dr. Matchin, and I think that, you know, thank goodness I have two guys that see the big picture and understand where we're headed with the program, um, where we were in a two-year period, what we've accomplished, and understand the circumstances we're in right now, and more than anything, where we're headed. And they're in the day-to-day -day operation. So it's, it's very uh, rewarding and to have a strong athletic director and a strong president that's willing to stand up and fight for what's right. And I appreciate that.